Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Jelly Holiday with Mary. I am Mary and I have a humongous Mary Poppins haul for you guys. As you may have guessed from my channel name, I am completely in love with Mary Poppins. It just so happens that my name is also Mary, so I feel very uh, lucky in that way. <laughs> I cannot wait to open all of this stuff and show you. I've been collecting stuff for two months. I wanted to do uh, a couple other things, but they're only just now leaving the facility or like I just paid for them. I pre-ordered two Mary Poppins items that I cannot wait to get in the mail but they are not gonna be here before the end of May. And I feel like May is like the Mary Poppins month. So I've been dying to put this clip in for a Mary Poppins haul in May. I did a glorious die, right as a morning in my... It's so good, so... <laughs> For some reason, next May, I need to like coordinate a swap or something, some sort of Mary Poppins themed month. I think that would be super fun. Anyway, so I have lots of fantasy pins. I was waiting for some stuff to come uh, from France. And then I feel like there was some other international one, but in any case, let's get into these things. I've been waiting forever to show you guys. So I'm gonna start with the older Shop Disney item. I didn't even know that this existed. They sent it in this cute reusable Disney store bag, which makes me sad because Disney store closed. Anyway, um, I didn't even know that this item existed. My friend Brittany at Walt Life Salt Life uh, was telling me about it. She, I don't even know how we got on the subject of plushes, but I think she, we are probably just talking about how we have too many. <laughs> but she said that she found this at, um, the outlets when she still lived in Florida and I didn't even know this existed and she showed me and I was like it immediate I immediately put it on my in search of list I found a couple on eBay but I don't know they were just more than I wanted to spend especially knowing that it had been in the outlets for like eight or nine dollars it's originally twenty eight dollars <laughs> how cute is this penguin oh my gosh a mary poppins penguin and it's like knit it's a knit penguin <laughs> and it came from this classic cozy knits collection there are a bunch of these they have marie from aristocats they have blue there's uh i can't remember they have some like sort of random characters in knit cozy knit form. So it was a limited release. You could only, I think you could only get it in the parks if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure, but I know a lot of people who got it, got it at the parks and then they went to the outlets. So I finally found one that was like a good price. It looked really nice too. Some of the other ones like on eBay, his head was like all smashed in and stuff. And this he just looked like he looked perfect and he's so soft and I love him. <laughs> Is he not just the cutest? Oh my gosh. Look at these little feet. <laughs> he's so sweet with this thing. So he can come up here. <laughs> you can hardly see him, but he looks so cute up here. Next, I have this Amazon order. Somebody actually tagged me on Instagram and t like on a picture of this item. I can't remember who that was. I might, it might have been Robin from Holly and Honey actually. It is like a mouse pad. Anybody here remembers mouse pads? <laughs> but it's huge and it is amazing. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but I had to have it. Look, it won't even fit on screen. It's so big. Okay, there we go. How amazing is this? It's like, it's huge. I love that they have the little T sign down there. Like it's, it's so beautiful and it's so big. I'm shocked that they got it to print so well. I love it so much. I'm tempted to put it on my desk but I do so much crafting up there, I don't wanna like ruin it. So I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm tempted also to like just hang it on my wall. Like, I don't know, but it's so gorgeous and it wasn't very expensive. I think it was maybe $24 or something like that, but it's so cool. 
like I'll show you a close-up of the print quality because I think it's really really good like for being as big as it is and I'm assuming she just got this off of like a Google image and then just printed it on there so for doing that it looks really nice we got you closer so you can see the pins okay I'm gonna start with this first one. Okay, this one, this pin is from an Etsy shop, but it's a, a French shop and it's so stunning. I saw this pin on Mochi Pins pin board. She has like an awesome collection of Mary Poppins pins. This is number seven of 30. <laughs> what? Uh, last time I looked, they were still available. So if you want one, I will leave her Etsy shop down below. I also at the same time bought a Pocahontas pin um, that is very very similar design but I have a Pocahontas haul for you guys too so you'll see that in a later video. Okay check out this pin. How stunning are those colors? Um, so I saw this on Mochi Pins pin board and I asked her where she got it. And she told me the shop and she was like, I think she has a Pocahontas one too. And I was like, oh my God, that would be so perfect. So I went to the Etsy shop and um, it wasn't there. It was not uh, available. And I was like, oh no, she probably sold out. Like it's probably been there for a long, long time. Uh, so I just haven't, like I bought the Pocahontas one because I knew I wanted that and I didn't want to like lose it too. So I bought the Pocahontas one and then I sent the seller a message and I was like, hey, do you happen to have any more of these pins? And I sent her a picture and she responded fairly quickly and she was like, I will check and get back to you. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> so uh, the next morning I had a message from her and she said, yes, I do still have one available. She actually had two, which is what she listed on her um, Etsy shop. And I was like, oh my gosh that is incredible i want to buy it this is so heavy like it's it's an insanely nice pin so she listed it and uh she actually canceled my pocahontas pin and i rebought both of them together to like save on shipping and stuff and then she sent them to me within a couple days and i was like just beyond grateful. Like this is just such a cool pin and I can't wait to show you guys the Pocahontas one too. So <laughs> totally obsessed with this pin. It's so so nice. Okay so her shop will be linked down below. This next pin is from a place that I always buy Mary Poppins pins from. This is one of her older ones that I just hadn't purchased yet but she had a sale one day and I was like perfect time to buy it. So this is from Stellar Badger Pins. She's an incredible Mary Poppins pin creator. I love that she makes pins of characters from the movie that don't get a lot of attention. Like where else am I gonna find an Admiral Boom pin, you know? And it's, they're all such good sizes. Um, she gives you the option of buying this like top pin version or there's like a big circle one that has like a design and stuff on the back. Um, but I don't have space for that on my pin board, so I just got the top pin. Uh, and it is so cool. Like, I can just slowly add all of the characters from Mary Poppins to my pin collection. <laughs> she made a pin of Jane and Michael. She made pin of Mrs. Banks. I wonder if she's gonna do Mr. Banks at some point. I don't know, but I, I love all of her pins. Okay. This next one is another Instagram find because I have a hashtag that I follow that's Mary Poppins pins, I think, or Mary Poppins fantasy pins. I can't remember. If you've ever been to Disneyland in California, you probably recognize this. It is the stained glass window from the Jolly Holiday Bakery. And it's so cool. Oh my gosh, I'll put a picture in so you can see them next to each other. But yeah, it's it's super cool. It's just such a clever idea and uh, she said it had some bubbles in the um, stained glass areas, but I don't really care. I think it's awesome. Um, if you know 
my sign off too for all my videos is don't stay away too long which is actually a line that Bert says at the end of the movie and um, at the bakery as you're leaving they have this arch as you come in and as you leave on the back it says don't stay away too long and I just love it so much I love everything about that bakery I've actually been in there when we went to Disneyland um, I think we got some kind of treat from there I can't remember what it was but I don't even remember seeing these windows to be honest but <laughs> but they're in there I'm slowly becoming like a Mary Poppins penguin fanatic okay this ooh, that's so cool okay so this is from daddy o does Disney I forever ago um, placed a pre-order for a set of pins that daddy o does Disney created she has lots of super cool pins look at this packaging what <laughs> that is so cool oh they're so little I had no idea they were so little that's so cute okay let me show you this it's a set of six pins and they're very little but they're like perfect and they come on this backer card which is super convenient for showing them to you <laughs> look at these little guys so you get two penguins the fox her umbrella her hat and the carpet bag and the carpet bag is so detailed oh I love that so much I love how little the penguins are oh I'm totally in love that fox is amazing what oh my gosh all right let me give you a closer look at this fox because look how teensy he is look how teensy oh my gosh is he not the most perfect little oh my goodness I'm obsessed with this set <laughs> so this was a pre-order I probably should have ordered more than one but I didn't I love how little these are they are gonna like fill in all the spaces that I need to fill let me get you a closer look at this tiny little umbrella oh my gosh I love how cute it is it's so perfect and little oh my gosh so that is an awesome set <laughs> and then I think that might be it so here let me show you all the pins together they're so awesome oh my goodness these little guys are like surprisingly might be my favorite that and then this one <laughs> because it's just so stunning I love like profile pins for whatever reason they I just think they're so cool I have so many pins to put on my board now <laughs> uh. I love it and I'm so in love with this little penguin he's so stinking cute <sighs> I'm obsessed anyway stay tuned if you're not subscribed you probably should and if you want to hit the notification bell that'd be awesome I'm going to have a Mary Poppins giveaway soon it's um, being packed up and sent to me so I'm gonna show you guys the items I bought one for myself and then the creator was kind enough to send me another box to do a giveaway with so I can't wait to do that um, I also have uh, a couple other things so I'll probably just do a couple of giveaways in June so I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already leave me a comment and I will see you guys in the next one don't stay away too long